Hi, my name is Jonathan Pickup, and today we're going to look at some simple 3D modeling using ARCHICAD. So let's just refresh our memory. We have a plan view tab here and a 3D tab here. So we can see the plan and we can see the 3D. If you hold your finger on the shift key and hold down the middle mouse wheel button, we can turn our view around, which is quite handy. Let's start with our plan view though. I'm going to use the morph tool. Here's the morph tool here. There's my morph tool. And we're going to start by morphing a rectangle. There's my rectangle tool. Now if I click and hold my mouse button down, it can be a rectangle, rotated rectangle, an arc, or an arc by three points. So I just want a rectangle. So I'm going to start at this corner here. And this is going to be 95 millimeters in that direction and 45 millimeters in that direction. Hit the Enter key once and it's finished. If we have a look in 3D, you'll see there it is there. I've got my object. Get my arrow tool, click on my object. If I click on the edge of my object, I can extrude that. So we want to bring that up by about 110 millimeters. So we'll make it 1, 1, 0. Enter once and it finishes. Now if you continue to move around, we can continue to extrude that and we can make some really cool shapes. If you come back to this point here and click once, it'll stop morphing and it'll just be a single object. So let's click away from everything. Back to my morph. So this time, you'll notice that the little indicator of the plane actually changes. This is like automatic working planes. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier for me to see it. So there we are zoomed in. Grab my morph tool, just make sure I'm starting on this corner here. So click. We want to come across 15 millimeters and we want to come down 10 millimeters. Enter once and it's done. If I go back to my arrow tool and I select that component and click on its edge, I can pull that down. I can click here. Now remember, it does this thing where it goes all over the place. So if I go back to that point there and click, it finishes. Let's try the morph again over here. We're going to start at this corner. We want to make sure we're right on the corner. It's not the Mercedes cursor, but the tick. Here it is here. Let's come in here. This time we're going to come across 20. And we're going to come down 15. Enter. And it's finished. Back to our arrow tool. Click on that edge there. Brings up this. So we're going to bring that down. So we click once there. Click again. And you can see what's happened. I didn't quite click at the right place. So let's just undo that. So we'll just use our undo button. And there it is there. So let's start here on this edge here. Click. We're coming down. We want to click there. And then I'm going to go back to this dot here. You see that my little pencil changes to like just a lead. Click. And that's created the second one. Now with the arrow tool, we want to select all three of those. Just make sure you've got all of them. All three. And just up here it says selected one. So something's not working. So shift click on that one. Shift click on this one as well. And here... It says I've got three objects selected. So I know I've got the three. So I'm going to right click, click on there, Boolean operations. We're going to subtract, click on the bit we want to leave behind, and it subtracts the other two objects, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to our morph tool. There it is there. So this time, click here and make sure you've selected the arc. So here we're going to click. We're going to type in six, enter. Now, if you just have a look here, it goes all the way around, come back there, and there it is. And I'm going to select that, click on its edge, and again, I can extrude that through. I'm just going to turn my view, so it's shift and the middle mouse wheel button, so through to here, click. You can see it's jumping all over the place, but click back there, and I've got the single circle. Select both of those objects. So just check to make sure you got the two objects selected up there. Right click, Boolean operations. We're going to subtract and we're going to keep this one here. So I've clicked away from the circle so I don't accidentally select the circle or the cylinder. And I've now got my shape. So that's a simple introduction to 3D modeling in ARCHICAD.